Welcome to FinSuite Cookie Consent for Webflow. I'm Joe Krug, founder of FinSuite. I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about cookie consent in Webflow. Welcome to the welcome video for FinSuite Cookie Consent for Webflow. In this video, I will review the basics of what this library is, what is it doing, and why you should be using it if you are using Webflow. First, what is cookie consent for Webflow? Let's read it right here. It's an incredibly powerful cookie consent plugin built specifically for Webflow. That's the key here, built specifically for Webflow. There are a lot of cookie consent options out there. There are free ones, there are paid ones. The free ones are good, but you have to write CSS by hand or you have to use some editor that gives you limited de design control. We don't want that. And then there are paid options, but do you really wanna pay for it? No, so that's why we built this for you. It's free, it's easy to use, it does work with Webflow, it is totally designer friendly, and it does comply with cookie laws. We are GDPR compliant here, we have covered so much of the ground, we are going to cover all of that in the video series. Let's go with the quick overview here, this is just a getting started video, this is not going to go into any implementation, Let's look at what this plugin is all about. We use components. What does that mean in this context? Components are the elements that make up the cookie consent system. We have our banner component, we have our manager component, and we have our preferences pop-up component. These can be built in Webflow, and then we're going to apply attributes to these components so that our library, our plugin knows what they are. So we are not going to be writing JavaScript or editing JavaScript. We are going to be applying attributes. We build it in designer, we apply the attributes and our code that is all behind the scenes does all the work for you. We are going to be modifying our script tags if we want to be fully cookie compliant. What does this mean? When you are fully cookie compliant, when you are GDPR compliant, you need to make sure that your scripts, your Google Analytics, your Facebook pixel do does not fire on the page immediately. So we're going to go ahead and add some attributes to our script tags to make sure that they don't fire. And again, our library, this plugin is going to do all of the work in the background and we just have to add these simple attributes. And remember, we don't touch JavaScript. It's all attribute based. We did this for you no coders. We're also going to help you understand, even when you're using these free tools and these paid tools, you don't really know what's going on. You may be implementing your cookie consent system, but you don't know what's happening. If you follow our video tutorial series, you are going to understand what's happening. By understanding what's happening, you're going to be a better Webflow developer, you're going to understand cookies better, and you're going to sell like an effing boss. What the heck does this mean? That means when you're selling to a client or a lead, or you are just talking to somebody about cookies, you're going to give them badass information that you learn in these video tutorials. So this is not just a copy, paste, see you later type application. This is meant to teach you. We have an entire education center. We have all these video tutorials and we're going to make this very simple for you. So if you're interested, if you want to learn this, that is what we're doing here. Watch these videos, understand how it works. We're going to get simple. We're going to get a little technical, but we're going to keep it simple. Don't worry. Please follow along if you're interested. And if you're not interested, just go pick out the individual videos for your specific implementation. All right, let's get started. In the next video, we're going over setup. We'll be going over option one, two, three, and the preference manager. Talk soon. Thanks for watching. Check out more FinSuite videos to keep learning Webflow.